Hi, it's Gary, and I want to talk to you about why you shouldn't be reducing your fees, your charges, your hourly rate, the price that you charge to your clients, and why now, in these uncertain times, is the time where you need to stick to your guns. You need to make sure that you charge the same amount that you have always charged. And if you're not currently charging as a mortgage broker, then you should be considering charging a fee for your services. So yesterday I did a post uh, to my community because I was running some numbers because someone did actually message me saying, look, I'm charging a fee, I think business is gonna drop off and I think realistically, you know, it's gonna have a massive impact on my business. Uh, I'm a one man band, I'm a sole trader and I really need to make sure that I keep some income coming in for my family and I think I can get more business by not charging a fee. And if you're a coach, consultant, uh, physiotherapist, although you're going to be struggling at the moment because social distancing means you can't touch people. Uh, but if you're in that environment, coach, consultant, uh, mortgage broker, will writer, financial advisor, the scary thought when your income is potentially going to drop is I need to reduce my fees in order to be able to get more business. But as I worked out yesterday, let's take this scenario. It's now the time to actually continue charging your fees and to really value your service. Because if 52 clients, let's just say one mortgage a week, and this relates to you no matter what business you are in, but let's just say that 52 clients uh, you're charging or earning 1,500 pounds from, you know, that's gonna be 78,000 pounds for a year, which is a good income for a mortgage broker if you get your business right and if you do a full and proper job of broker fee, mortgage, life insurance, critical illness, income protection, etc. So 52 clients, 1,500 quid, 78 grand a year. That's half of actually what the active mortgage, my brokerage case value is based on the clients that we're dealing with and the size of mortgages that we're doing and the fees that we're charging. So if your business were to drop by 50% because of the economic climate that we're currently in, then 50% of that, you know, half, is gonna be 39,000 pound for the year. Now if you go and turn around and remove your 499 broker fee straight from the off, that's gonna be just over 13,000. Well, I believe every single mortgage broker should be charging at least 499 for their service, no matter what size the mortgage. Uh, it's about, the, you know, the job is way harder than it was back in 2008 when I first started doing it. Uh, sorry, 2003 when I first started doing it. Even in Alexander Hall in London, back in sort of 2003, 2004 time, they were still charging 499 at that point in time. Uh, and the job is a lot harder now post-credit crunch than it ever has been.